hello hello queens welcome and welcome back to my channel this is Kanisha with currency queen budgets guys and i am here today we are going to do our last cash stuffing for january well our last paycheck stuffing for january because we still have savings challenges to do but if that is something that you're interested in guys stay tuned All right, guys, so we're going to jump into this. We're not going to waste any time. How has everybody been doing? Um, can you believe that we are already done with our first month of 2023? Oh, my God, y'all. It's went by fast. If I must say so myself, it's went by. All right, so we're going to get this moolah counted. And I'm not sure what my camera doing. It's trying to focus on something. I hope y'all can see. Okay, but it's trying to focus. Um, I'm not sure. Let me check something real quick. Okay. Okay, so it's gone. I'm not sure what it was doing. It just had a little yellow square on there. I guess it was trying to... I don't know. Um, but my phone did do some updates. And it seems like everything is weird now. Um, but yeah, so let's get this money counted. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred, fifty, nine hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one thousand, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one thousand, one hundred, one thousand, one hundred and twenty. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 1,180, 85, 90, 95, 1,200, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. $1,222. So you guys know I am just going to be stuffing my bills and my variable expenses today. And then on another video, we will be doing my savings challenges. We're not focusing on on my. I had to put some lip chap on, y'all. I'm not. I'm not focusing on my sinking funds right now because we're trying to get these credit cards paid on off. And once we get those credit cards paid off, we will have a little bit more fun with this money. So, um, let's jump into it. So, first, I'm going to start with my bills binder. And we're going to start with our credit cards. Let me move a few things around on my desk. Okay, I hope that's not too close, guys. Okay, so we're going to start with our credit cards, and we're going to do 50 for credit cards. I'm going to do two 20s and two fives. So let's see what we have for credit cards. I have 100, 50, 200, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 400. Is that 400, y'all? Let me go back and count that again. 1, 50, 2, 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 
$95,400. Oh, wow. Y'all, I did not know I had that much. And then I have, um, that's $400, 5 20 and 30 Oh, wow, y'all. I didn't know I had that much in there. And I think I've just been throwing, um, I know I threw, yeah, I didn't know I had that much, y'all. That is, listen, I said I was going to get those credit cards paid on down. And I did redo my tracker. So, yes. We're going to get that all knocked on off. Knocked on off. <laughs> We're going to get that knocked out. And I already forgot how much I had. I said, what is it, 530? Yeah. So that is good. I wish I could spend that on something else. Y'all, wouldn't that be great for me to be able to spend that $500 on something else or put it in the savings challenges, y'all? Y'all see how credit card debt gets you? Yeah, it's just like throwing away money. <laughs> so for my tides, I am going to do a 50. No, I'm not. I'm going to do 320s, 20, 40, and 60. Yeah, y'all, listen, I, I just don't want to give all that money to my credit cards, but I, I want to get out that debt so bad. <sighs> and I hope I never have to get back into use the credit cards like I was using them. At first, I know, yeah, they say when you know better, you do better. So <laughs> that's what we're going to do. For Cardinal, I'm going to do 150 Ooh, wee. I just can't get over that. I can't stop thinking about that. <sighs> For my insurance, it's $25. And I know some of y'all feel my pain right now because I know nobody likes to pay. <laughs> pay them credit cards. Okay, we like to use them and get that, get that stuff. But when it comes time to paying them back, we don't want to do that. And that's how they get us, y'all. That's how they get us. And for cell phone, we're going to do 25 for today. No, we're doing 27. 20, 25, 26, and 27. Y'all see how I messed up the credit cards got me? Okay, okay, okay. I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> All right, for the good old utilities, we're going to do a hot $50. I'll do $50 in these utilities. And I need more than that today. But that's all we're doing for today. Uh, for my rent, it's going to get uh, $600. So we're going to one, two, three, four, five, $600. Sheesh. Yeah, I wish somebody would pay my rent up for just pay my rent for two months. That's all I need. And let me save that money. For subscriptions, we're not doing anything. Our student loans isn't anything. We don't have any more collections, so I can take that out. But those are totally paid off. So we are done with our bills. And we stuffed a total of, I think it's $982 in our bill. So the next thing we're going to do is start with our variable expenses. Now, if you are new to budgeting or new to my channel, variable expenses is something that you use every day. That's your money that you use every day, your everyday spending, like your groceries, gas, and whatever else you spend money on every week. Um, and this is my wallet that I have for my variable expenses. And we are going to jump in here and see what we got going on. All right. So, so yeah, this is for my variable expenses. So this is for my variable expenses and we're going to get to stuffing this. We're going to start with groceries. And I did have money left over, guys. I had, I did not spend like 
I, I try my best not to spend what I didn't have. Now for my groceries, I used what I had in the kitchen already because I would go to the store and just buy stuff because I needed to cook. And I always have extra. I always buy extra. But what I said I'm going to do is use everything that I have in my cabinets already to see um, how much money I can really save. That's what That was my thing. Just go ahead and use what I have before I go and buy it again. So that is my thing. That is why I have a nice little chunk left because I didn't have to buy groceries because I had so much. I have a deep freezer and I also have a pantry that is full of everything, y'all. Because it seems like when I go to the grocery store, I always get certain items hands down no matter what. It's like, okay, just say for instance, like every time I go to the store, it is... Four things that I always get, no matter what I'm going to the store for y'all. And I don't know why. I get a bell pepper, I get an onion, I get a tomato, and a cucumber. Don't and I don't even know why. Because some sometimes they go bad. I don't even use them. Most of the time the bell peppers go bad. So I just said I'm just gonna stop doing that because that I was just wasting money. Just throwing money away because I'm not using them bell peppers. I don't know. I've always done that. I don't yeah, I can't even explain why I do it. <laughs> I just always have. So, I didn't buy any um, bell pepper, no onions. I think I got a tomato and a, a cucumber because I bought some stuff to make a salad. So, and I, I did use all of it. So, um, yeah, I did save a little, a lot of extra money. So, let's see how much I saved for my groceries. I have 20 40 60 65 and then my ones, I'm going to place them to the side because they are going to go in my $1 savings challenge. And then I think I'm going to take this five and put that in savings challenges too and keep the 20s. So I'm going to do 115. Ooh, I don't need all them fives. I just need one. Okay. And it still give me a nice little hefty chunk going into groceries. So for groceries, I have 120, 40, 60, 70, and 75. So I have $175. And my plan is to try to do the same thing um, over these next two weeks as far as grocery shopping. But we'll see what we can come up with. Uh, for gas, I did have some left over for gas. And I don't take anything out of gas because, you know, gas fluctuate and their prices fluctuate. But I did have $35 left over. And my receipt, I am going to put that to the side so I can scan that into my Fetch app. If you're not familiar with Fetch, let me explain. Fetch is an app. It is free to download that you can use to scan all of your receipts. No matter where you purchase from, you can scan any receipt and it will give you points for your receipt. And as those points accumulate for every receipt that you scan, you will be able to use those reward points to purchase gift cards. Now they have many gift cards, y'all. I love Fetch because I like getting them gift cards. I like to scan my, my receipts just to see how many points I can I can get. But if you have not ever heard that and you don't use Fetch, I'm going to leave my link across the screen here. And you can go ahead and download that and you can use my code. And I'm going to give you some points when you use my code. And when you use my code, you're also going to give me some points just as a thank you for offering this to you. So I would greatly appreciate you if you do not use it go ahead and use my code so let's get back into this cash stuffing um because i sound like i was really promoting that app y'all um we have 35 left over and for gas i am going to do 75 dollars so let's do 20 40 60 70 and 75 So I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 510. Okay. 
Okay, so $110 for gas. Um, eating out isn't getting anything, but I did have some money left over. Let's see what I have. I have five and all these ones. I guess I'll put that five to the side too for my savings challenges. And that's how I am going to be accumulating money for my savings challenges, y'all. Whatever I have rolled over is what's going to towards my savings challenges. Now, I could use this money for my credit cards because I just want to have a little bit of fun, you know, with with um saving. Y'all know I, I love my savings challenges. Ooh, so household has... Y'all, I got all these ones and fives. That must mean I need to save my um five. So household is going to get a 20. And I'm going to keep that five in there because I do have some things that I need to purchase. So uh, for spending, let's see what we have here. Oh, y'all, look. Listen, my son came by to see me. And he gave me $50, y'all. <laughs> And I put that in my spending um, because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. And I was like, I'm going to keep that and do something for myself. Y'all, he's just like, Mom, you be doing all this stuff and you don't ever buy yourself nothing. He's like, buy yourself something nice. And I thought that was so sweet of him to just, you know, just give me $50. But I really think I want to put this in on a credit card, y'all. I know that's horrible, but I'm going to sit this back in spending for right now. But... I'm I'm really thinking long and hard that it may go on on um a credit card. What y'all think? What y'all think? Am I doing too much? Am I like focusing on it too hard? What what do y'all think I should do with that fifty dollars? Let me take some give me some ideas on what do y'all think if I should go ahead and do something for myself or just pay the credit card off. So I'll be um looking for your comments down below in the comments. So I'll be looking for your suggestions down in the comments. So leave me a comment and let me know what y'all think I should do with that. So for my medications, I'm going to do 10. And I know I haven't spent anything in medication because no one has been sick, nor have I been to the doctor to see my chiropractor. So we have $40 there. And I do need to go see my chiropractor. I think I said that last time. Uh, for beauty, I don't have anything in there. But we are going to do 20 and 25. And I don't know where I got these extras at. Oh, well. I must have did somewhere. I had too many teens or something. Um... Okay, um, and these are my receipts also. I'm going to get those and scan those into Fetch. And we don't have any money in deposit, so that would be it for here. And why do I have five, $10 left over? One, two, three, four, five. I don't know why I have 10 left over. Did I not put 10 somewhere, y'all? I did gas 75, right? Yeah, gas got everything. I'm not sure. Oh, I know where it is. I was so excited about this. Um, fifty dollars my son gave me. I didn't put the ten in my spending. That's where it is at. And then I have these five ones. Oh no, I want to put. I want to put some ones in my gas. That's what I want to do. Because sometimes I spend thirty one dollars, and I'm just gonna spend thirty one dollars. <laughs> Instead of doing thirty, instead of doing um, instead of doing uh thirty five and then getting those ones back anyway, so I'm just gonna do ones, and then this last five is gonna go into my savings challenges, 
And then I'm going to grab all of this and put it in my savings challenge binder. And I do have some more money for my savings challenge. Um, oh, we got some ones. Look at them ones for January. I got a few more days to collect some ones, so let's see how that go. And I'm going to add this in here. And then I'm so ready to do my savings challenges, y'all. I'm so ready to finish these up. Alright guys, so that is it and that is all for this video. I appreciate you guys for staying this long. And if you have not already and you enjoyed this content, guys, I would really appreciate if you go ahead that like and subscribe button, hit that notification bell, leave me a comment, and share it. Yeah. Share this video, guys. Um, because the family is growing. I think the last time I looked, I was at 830 ish 830 ish y'all but on my watch hours i am on the downside i have three thousand over three thousand and five hundred watch hours guys thank you thank you thank you thank you i probably reach my watch hours before i reach my 1000 subbies so guys i really appreciate y'all i love y'all so much i love y'all so much but um like I said, if you have not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, y'all. Because I'm trying to reach my 1,000 subbies before I hit my year um, on YouTube. And that's not until March. But I know I'll, I know I'll get it uh, February. We're going to hit that 1,000 in February. Uh, but guys, listen, I'm going to get off of here and stop all this talking. But you guys know, until next video, I want you to be blessed, queenies. Bye.